Hey. <laughs> Did you expect that you were going to pray? You didn't expect, but they just call you pray for, for then you will now pray. Your prayer will now expose you. You know, Trump, Trump, Trump in America. He wanted to say first Corinthian. He said one Corinthian. <laughs> He said, one you know, this one, they read Bible. <laughs> you know, they read Bible. He would have said, first Corinthians, but he said, one Corinthians. Yeah, you know, this one, this one, just the, the, the writer for him. So, as the writer, he said, one Corinthians. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> you know, it's not reading Bible. There are some of us, too. If they now give us those doors, they will now discover ah, this one Christianity. Uh -huh. It's not there. Praise the Lord. You will not be like that in Jesus' name. Amen. So the question is how do you overcome sin? Don't obey the lust of your mortal body. Amen. Your body will want to do something, just be resting and be sleeping and be loafing around. Don't give your body that space. Rest when you are tired. When you are not tired, be up on your feet. Be doing something. Because God rested, it is ordained that you should rest. But when you have rested, be active in the things of God. Otherwise, the devil will make you active. He will, he will use you. Nature abhor vacuum. Praise the Lord. Second way you can do that is by yielding your members to God and not Yielding your member as instrument of unrighteousness. What are your members? Your hand. Do like this. This your hand will not be an arm robber hand. Amen. You will not steal. Amen. You know, you that did not steal, if you now have a child that peel, he, he goes to shop, he will just go around like this. And he will just pick some few things. They now call you and say, uh, a day for prison. What happened? He went to Pilfa. Who taught him? Where? How? Where? How? Did you not go there? They now put all the thing. He took sweet. He took. <laughs> ah! And you not say, ah, but sweet is at home. And he picked sweet. But come, don't you? Yes, yeah, sweet at home. I don't know. Uh, the hand was just moving. <laughs> Praise God. You, have you seen people like that? They just go into shop. Not that they don't have what they go and steal. They just went there. The, the, their hand was just moving to big things. It's a disease. Yeah. In fact, actually, it's a demonic attack. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is very, very important that we are conscious that these things are spiritual. Hallelujah. Don't yield your members. If somebody is saying they want to go and steal, don't join them. If they give you the good reason why you should go and steal, don't join them. Oh. Don't join them. Because every wrong way has repercussion. Just like every good way has implication. Amen. Amen? Amen? If you do it good, it has an implication. Amen. Whatever any man so, we also reap. That's how it is. Praise the Lord. <laughs> It's very don't yield your member to his, for example, this our mouth. This our tell your neighbor, this mouth, eh? Yeah. You know what the Bible says? He said, This our tongue is a word of iniquity. It can set things on fire. This tongue. To everybody. You, you can I can use this tongue to catch this church. It, it, it should be burning. Because I will just first call me, test mommy some things. So when the way mommy enter church. The eye that we use to look people, they will know that there's a problem. I will now call you too. I will tell you some things. My mother, I will, tell, I will now tell, I will plant some seed inside of you. If all of you come to church, you'll be suspecting each other. And you know why? It is pastor that told you. You will now discover that nobody will talk to themselves. And after we close, yes, good morning. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, sir, I'm gone, sir. But, <laughs> You will now know there's a spirit in the house. A, this tongue. Some, and some people are very skillful in this wickedness of tongue. They, are, they, they have skill 
If they tell you some things, you will not like your name. Some things they will tell you, your name, you will not like it. The way they will even tell you, you will know they don't like. They, they will not like it. So we, we must be careful how we use this mouth to talk. If they did not send you, don't send yourself. Praise the Lord. But learn how to keep your mouth shut, even if you have information. They did not. If brother can tell me something now, he did not tell me to tell you. Why would I come to you and say, ah, I don't know. Brother Ken just told me that uh, so, so, and so, and so. But, but I shouldn't tell anybody, Sha. So please, uh, uh, integrity, don't. I just said I should share with you, Sha. <laughs> Whether you like it or not, one day, brother, can we hear? And from that day, you are not to be trusted. Praise God. These thousands of people, they destroyed their priesthood. They didn't send you. They did not send you. You are just privileged to have that information. They didn't send you. Even if you know. So people now say, eh, but it's Christian. It's good to say the truth. Who sent you the truth? The occasion, did he call for that truth? Okay, if it's not the truth, go and talk to the person who told you, come on, that thing is not true. Deal with the person who told you the matter. Praise the Lord. At most, tell the person to go and sort the thing out. Don't go and start breaking corners. Otherwise, we cannot be trusted again. This is the reason why people believe that Christians are not to be trusted anymore. That they, their own is even worse than believers. Integrity. No more integrity. Ha! Time is gone. Praise God. All right. I, I will just stop here and correct. But let me conclude this part. Praise the Lord. Now look at Romans chapter 8 and verse 12 to 14. Romans 8, 12 to 14. The Bible says, Let not sin, therefore, reign in your mortal bodies. Romans 6, 12 to 14. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instrument of unrighteousness unto sin. He said, but yield yourself unto God as those that are alive from the dead and your members as instrument of righteousness unto God. For what? For sin shall not have dominion over you. For ye are not under the law, but under grace. Look at what he said. Sin will not have dominion. You know, it means sin will not have the victory over you. Amen. Because as soon sin have dominion over you, then sin has victory over you. Then you are a slave of the devil. You will not be a slave to the devil. Amen. There are some people they let me give you an example of dominion. Somebody who used to drink alcohol. You drink alcohol. As in you are anointed in drinking alcohol. But somehow, God just pulled you out of that realm. And you stopped drinking alcohol. But you need to go for evangelism. And it now happens that you have to now go to a bar. To talk to somebody. And when you enter there. You now see somebody pouring lager beer, you know, or Guinness, and it's chilled, very cold, and the, the foam rises up. Praise God. I, uh, as the thing is rising up, your face, your, uh, uh, you, are tasting, you are tasting the Guinness. Ah, you go and meet the brother. You know, it's not good to drink. Oh. Mm. It's not good. You can drink water, actually. It's a water. You need to test this thing and see whether it's not. The <laughs> I used to drink it before, but uh, uh, you, you, you are licking your mouth because you have seen, you know the taste of that Guinness. After a while, you look left and right. You are the only one that is there. Uh, one cup or one bottle. Uh, you that used to take one crate before. You say one bottle, we know yeah, it, one bottle cannot do anything. Anyway, you know, anyway, 
I need to prove to you that uh, you know you will not find one yet thing to say. You will finish one bottle. Praise God. You will finish one bottle and go. Then you will say, Ah, God, I ah, have mercy. I fell. On that day, you will now go to a party. Somebody will turn star. And you know the tests. Chilled one, you will be looking at the bottle sweating. You too, you'll be sweating too. And it is very hot. <laughs> you, 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 will now, you will now go to the back of the place and drain one, this thing. Say, Ah, God, ah, please deliver me. You now see that you are still under the bondage of it. You are not free. You want to be free, but you are not free. Hear me, somebody. Sin will not have dominion over you. Amen. You know you don't want it, but once in a while you say, ah, let me just take one small, you want to just feel it a little bit. Let it just warm your stomach. You will take it. You are going back to where you are coming from. This is how sin have dominion over people. And that is a small thing. But it's a sign that there are other areas where you will compromise if you have the chance. It's a sign that other bigger things, if you have the chance, you will compromise. You don't know integrity. You don't know how... If you are somebody like Joseph, you will fall. With Potiphar's wife, you will fall. Because there's no way uh, Potiphar will know. Because Potiphar is busy doing his thing. And he will tell all the slaves, no, nobody should come into this place. And Madame will cut shoe. Say, say, say. What did I say? She will cut shoe, say, say, say. She will bath, they will cheat, they will relax. When they are done, they will come outside. Nothing. Uh, what they call that thing? Chop clean mouth. Praise God. Then his destiny would have been twisted. Today we will not be talking about it like this. That will not be you. Amen. That will not be you. Amen. For sin shall not have dominion over you. So the will of God for somebody who is born of God is that you are master over sin. You are master. You sin. You tell sin, get out of my face. I don't belong to you. And by the way, I have an alternative to you. And if I don't even have an alternative, I don't choose you. Praise God. Because evil is evil. There's nobody here who likes that evil should be done to him or her. Praise the Lord. So just like Joseph, you don't want to be caught. There's a man called Achan. The Bible says he saw the Babylonian uh, garment. He looked at it and he coveted them. There is none of you right now. I both make both to say that you will just be going in this place now. You will now see hundred euro on the floor. You will now want to go and ask these people whether they are the owner. <laughs> who does that? They say, who does that? <laughs> <laughs> no, maybe the owner is there. Hundred or. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Hundred euro. How many naira be that one? <laughs> it will only take. In fact, it will take the grace of God if you find hundred euro on the floor in church. In church, it will just take the grace. Of God. It's like I saw hundred euro here. Anyway, you. Uh, I know, I know, I know. <laughs> but there are some people who will come to church. They will just match the team. I say, you know, go out again. And I just say, let me just meditate a little bit. Praise <laughs> God. Uh, they say, you want to meditate? Say, we want to close church. No, 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 go. I go bang the door. <laughs> Praise God. You will find a way to collect that team. There are some guys like that. They will run that shoe. 100 euro. What are you talking? <laughs> I pray that that will not be you. If you find on that door, amen, amen, it's dangerous. <laughs> Praise God. Yes, so we want to put this our offering. Praise the Lord. Shout hallelujah. Well, this is how to realize your victory over sin. I pray for you that your victory over sin is totally established. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. This is how we can say we are born of God. 
born of God. Born of God. Anything we do is of God. Amen. Amen. If people may stay, you say you are foolish, but between you and God, your conscience is clear that I am born of God. I can't do this. This is no, this is not my realm. I can't cross that line. Then you know. When you are praying, you know that God is hearing you. You are born of God. Everything that comes outside from you, you know that this is of God. When you see the scripture saying of God, it means that you are born of God. Praise the Lord. I pray that as you leave this place, everything you say and everything you do, anything at all, men will see it and know that it is born of God. I thought I would hear better amen. Yeah. Because as a Christian, if we do things and it looks as of the devil, and you now say you want to pray, you want to speak in tongue, people will just dislike your Christianity. Praise God. Hallelujah. How can you imagine somebody who you say, yeah, I'm, a, I'm, I'm born again, I'm this, blah, 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 blah. He get to a, a party. He say, ah, guys, how, how are they? Ah, what's going on? What's they sup? Are we sup? I mean, yes. Where did they stop? Where did they stop? These are not, uh, bring laga. <laughs> laga bear. Oh, you know, something. Bring them, bring them, bring them. Put meat. Bring meat. 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 Uh, meat and, um, you know, <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> and then, by the time they now say, ah, well, let, let, uh, let us pray before we start eating. The person of the father, everybody, <laughs> even on unbeliever will say, this is an idiot. This person, <laughs> this person is an idiot. Even unbelievers will make a mockery of your, of, your, of your prayer. Why? Because you have already shown us a fruit that you are not there. You are not there. Even if you wear color, they know that this one is a, it's a wolf. A sheep clothes. Praise God. I heard of one of my pastor family member. Praise God. I have not seen him before, but they say he's a shark. Praise God. He goes to some place and he, he, he does himself good. Praise God. And then when he's singing here today, when he's praying today, he will think that he is deputy Jesus. Meanwhile, my sister said that inside his place, he has some really Struck a drink. Praise God. Don't dry gin. That is using it to elevate his spirit. Yes. <laughs> Praise God. Uh, uh, you people were not around that time. There was a pastor that used to be here. I served under him. And this pastor, Pastor Femi, very vibrant pastor, awesome. He's now in the US. This man, you now have, this pastor has one of the ministers. That minister, they have moved to London now. If he comes in the morning, his leg is like this. The man. When he comes, he will just be talking. Hey, Kilo, Kilo, what, what's happening? Is your Obama? What's happening? He will just be talking, talking. So my pastor will be looking, what is what this guy, when he comes in the morning, he's always very high and he was not sure what's happening. So one day he did that thing and came close to Pastor pastor now now perceived that this guy every morning he load himself with stuff spirits then he comes to church and he's a minister when he observed when he did it the first time he said i would check it so for one month pastor began to monitor him for each time he was actually soaked with alcohol so he had to call an elders meeting pastors and elders meeting and said so, so person, I discover you are getting high on drink every time you come to church and you are climbing the altar. You can't continue. Please stop. He didn't stop. Another time warning, third time he was fired. Why can't you desist from this drinking thing? And why do you have to drink and come to church? That is why I asked her to call police for one person here. Because I didn't know how to deal with that guy again. Praise God. He will just sit down here. And when, when I say in Jesus' name, his amen is disturbing. He, his amen is disturbing. In Jesus' name, amen! 
Hey, Amen. Yes, preach on, pastor. Normally, this guy is very shy, very calm, very. But once he has taken that anointing, his response, eh? If you are not a strong pastor, you will dress back. He will disturb your preaching with his response. Yes, yes, Amen. Ah, Amen. Yes, preach on, pastor. No, that is spirit, spirit. Things. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Eh? So, 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 when I, and I called him, I warned him once, warned him twice, nothing. I said, the next time you do this thing again, guy, you will not like what I will do. If, and I told him, if you want to drink, but stay home. You don't have to come to church. Stay at home. If you want to drink, don't come and be being this time. He didn't listen. I watched him some few times with him. Then one this particular day, in the middle of service, couldn't preach because he's, he's respond. That's why I told you these spirits, they can be doing something right but they are possessed. It's not as if he was saying, uh, everybody get out. What's not? No, he, if I say in Jesus' name, he will shout the amen and he will stand us, yes, pastor, right on, right on, right on. Yes, ah, hey, pastor, ah, you didn't hear what pastor is saying. Ah, he, he was disturbing the old sad, and then everybody knew that this guy is not there. At one point, in the middle of that, I said, I don't want to call his name. I said, go home. In the middle, just like as I'm preaching now, I said, here, you, go home. He said, pastor, I said, go home or I will call the police. Because he's demobilizing the church. Go home. He thought I was playing. I told her to call the police. Praise God. Police came and police said, What's up? I said, this guy is disturbing our service. And he said, hey, but uh, daddy, you are calling police. I said, go home. I, go home. Praise the Lord. Then the police looked at him. He said, priest does not want you. God does not want you. <laughs> Abel does not want you. Go home. <laughs> God does not. Priest say he doesn't want you. God does not want you. <laughs> go home. <laughs> Praise God. Go home. Then the guy was going, ah, Daddy, you said I should be going. Eh? I said, go, go, go home. Go home. Praise God. Now, I'm not happy that I had to call the police, but there was no other way to do that because I've warned this guy several times. And he's disturbing service. That is abuse to the one that we serve. If you drink, stay at home. Simple. I can't control what you put in your mouth, but stay at home. It's a nuisance. So I had to just do that so that he knows something. Since then, he didn't repeat it again. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He's not here anymore, but I'm sure he will not do that to any church again. If, he, if his absence here will not make him do that to any church, then I've gained something. Praise the Lord. Because people should learn to respect the presence of God. Stay at home. You must not come to church. Stay at home. Drink your stuff. There's one man that got drunk and died inside his house. I mean, you can't force people. It's an adult. Praise God. He can do what he wants, but don't come and disturb service. Praise the Lord. It is very important to live right. I pray that God will give us the grace to live right. Like I said, I wasn't happy that I had to do that, but I just had to do it. Praise the Lord. The Lord will help us. Amen. The Lord will help you and I. Amen. We will do well. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let's just bow your head where you are seated. Bow your head and just ask God, please, Father, help me. Help me, help me. Let sin not have dominion over me. In the precious name of Jesus. I want you to just pray. Talk to God. You know the areas where, 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 where it looks as if the Lord is speaking to. Just ask the Lord. Please, Father, help me. Help me. Help me. I want to be born of your spirit. Help me to be a practical person so that the world will know that I am born of God. This is my desire. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cannot do it on my own. But, Father, please help me. Jehovah, help me. Help me, Lord God Almighty, so that I can be born born of God. Lord, let me let me be able to prove that yes, I am truly born of God. Help me in every areas of my life in the precious name of Jesus. Pray that God let sin not have dominion over me. 
Let darkness not have dominion over me. Let the world not have dominion over me. Let Satan not have dominion over me. In the name of Jesus Christ, let sin not have dominion. I don't want to be a slave to the devil. Help me not to yield my members as instrument of unrighteousness. Help me, my father. In the name of Jesus, give me the spiritual sense to live right at all times that your name might be glorified. Thank you, Father. Take all the glory in Jesus' precious name we have prayed. Amen. Now, if you know God had your own prayer, shout a louder amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Are you blessed? Yes, sir. See, you will take these words, listen to them again, take time to pray. Because sometimes we will preach it and we don't pray enough. This one we just pray for two minutes or one minute. This is not uh, just to round up. Reading is that you will take your life into the word of God and pray. Please help me, Lord. It's like this my hand normally moves to where I didn't send him. Help me, Lord. This my thought. The way I think some things is not okay. Help my thought. All those things. We need to take time to pray it and reason it out. And the Lord will help us in the precious name of Jesus. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you know the message was clear, shout another hallelujah. Okay, if you know that it is not so clear, shout hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I will upload it on air so that you can listen it to it again. And the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Sister Adeya, welcome. It's good to see you. I don't know what to do. Have you stopped? <laughs>